like for instance when a vegan scolds you for drinking for consuming dairy products or wearing leather shoes <coughs> to me that's that's gone too far yeah. that's extreme you know what I mean I mean there are nuts out there 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 are raw food nuts that will just eat raw food and they look like they came out of a concentration camp uh -huh. I know somebody like that and and she'll put you down if you dis. She'll get mad if you disagree with her. But she looks like she came from a damn concentration camp. Well, just as a change of pace, tomato paste. I have dated a lot of women over the years, ah. including actresses and beauty contest winners and models. Sounds like an ass man, like on Seinfeld, the ass man. Every one of them, except my current live-in, Amanda, would dress up in lingerie when I asked them to. Amanda. Amanda Bellows from the I Dream of Jeannie, right? Remember that her name was Amanda? Amanda adamantly refuses. Well, then, if he's such a, a ladies' man, he's going to find it somewhere else. She says if I love her, I should be turned on whether she's nude or wearing lingerie. This is a big mistake that women make because women are more turned on by words and romance compared to the male's uh, gender and they, they, they're they thinking like a woman. They're not thinking like uh, the man. Oh, he'll love me no matter what I look like because he, I had his children and we're Ooh. married. Horseshit. Part of the problem is she's not in the best shape. And the lingerie would hide that. Mm, in other words, if she wore like a lacy, silky teddy and just spread her legs, he won't be able to see the rolls of flab on her stomach. Something, something like that. I have tried bargaining with her, but she won't agree. She doesn't understand why I'm not chasing her around all the time. Selfishness, selfishness in a relationship. I have tried to explain that I don't <laughs> find a tummy sexy. I didn't even read. I didn't even read this, and I said hiding the rolls of fat. Wasn't I right? She just calls me shallow Hal. That's how men are. Men are that way. A sasich, you know, has no conscience, like my grandfather used to say. A sasichi. Here is dear Abby's answer to this very serious problem. Steve Sasichi. I'd love to know what attracted you to Amanda in the first place. See, she's putting, she, she's, she's siding with the woman automatically, you see? Since ah. your type seems to have always been women who are arm candy. Well, maybe Amanda was the arm candy at the beginning. Sadly, taut bodies don't always last. If you make, if you, if you work on it, they last. At some point, age and pregnancies and the pull of gravity can cause them to sag. Gravity, my ass. I, I have photos Grab of my ass. women, senior citizens, even a few of them in their eighties that are bodybuilders. They're tight, hard, like this blackthorn shillelagh. If you work at it and you eat properly, and this, I'm, I'm, I'm saying this as a shout out also to the creator Mario Petrus. If you work at it and you eat properly and you monitor what you eat and you exercise safely and effectively, consistent exercise, you will not succumb to Father time. By the way, you'll be lean, sinew, definition, muscle mass, strength. Men and women, it doesn't matter, you lazy bastards. By the way, <sighs> with, with the exception of pregnancy, this can affect men as well as women. Da, 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 da. Bottom line, but, uh, yeah. if physical perfection is what you need to feel aroused, then you and Amanda may be a mismatch. You know what? Because nobody's perfect. You know what? This, what's her name? Is this the new Dear Abby? I yes, wonder what is. she looks like. 
she probably you know when they say when people say you know well, the beauty is only the skin diva you should see the ugly uh, the ugly uh, 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 look, see what they look like when they put down appearance mm -hmm. in a relationship or physical conditioning or uh, you know what's sexy what's not sexy see what they look like it's anyway like, you know. nobody's perfect and that includes you sir well you gotta back it up too you can't you know you can't look like uh, like a horse's ass and and be nitpicky with the other person I mean well, you gotta back men, it up well, some men like that they, they, they do that Usually guys with books uh, say, uh, well, it depends. It depends on the women they they, they spend time with. If they if uh, they spend time with gold diggers, <laughs> and the guy's bald and fat and sloppy and everything, you know, then that's it's not love. That's like a glorified uh, arm candy prostitute. Go, go, I go one step further. Glorified prostitution is what it is, and you could take that to the. Hold on, you could take that to the bank. Just like when you saw me with the king's crown on my head. You can take that to the bank. Anyway, we're going to take a lunch break. And we'll be back for the next segment. The next part of this. Yeah, video, we are worms. This, of we this, got segments. We're segmented. You know, <laughs> like a millipede or a centipede, which is a nasty, venomous thing. But Ugh. look out for the next uh, video part to this week's show. All right, and don't forget, get your free annual subscription with your gift to support this work. Newslettercensored.com. Do it now. <laughs>